All right, now, when you're trying a match, it's the only thing you use after the match. It's really hard to do it during the match unless it's high school where you can use a chart. It's a good thing for your reserves to be doing. It keeps them in the game. Error is simply a mistake. A winner is a clean shot. That's the first thing you put down, whether it's an error or a winner. Um, F is for forehand. B is for backhand. And R is return. V is volley. O is overhead. Um, and G is ground stroke. And the course of the rally, you try to also mark down what serve they hit. Like, was it a first serve? Was it a second serve? Okay. You just kind of tally it. Because you really want to know how many first serves they're getting in. A real simple way to do it is if they get the first serve in, you put down one, one, one. And you can, by the number of marks on your chart, you know how many, um, first serves they got in. You use one entire row for one game. And you use the lighter color for your opponent and the darker color for yourself. Okay, so we'll go through an example here with our first example charting. First serve, mark that down. And so that's the first error. It's an E error. It's a forehand and it's a G for ground stroke. So it's E, F, G. There are other easier systems to do. I like this system because it's pretty specific. And you can kind of look at it afterwards and really break it down. First serve again. It's an E for me, an F for forehand, and a G for ground stroke. Okay. And I'm forgetting to mark down the serves, but that should be two ones in the serve column. Now that's a E for me on the return, which is an R, and a backhand. And these are really important things because, you know, like, what if they're missing all their backhands and they're making all their forehands, you know? E for me, forehand, and the ground stroke. And you see what's happening here. I'm missing return to backhand, but during the course of the rally, I'm missing all these forehands on the ground stroke. That shouldn't be happening, okay? Now we have how I lost game. There are four errors I hit. The last one was a back and ground stroke. So it looks like I'm not being that consistent off the ground and I miss one return on the backhand side. Okay. The hard part is this chart should be combined with a coach watching the match because as a coach I'm watching the match and I'm seeing that my opponent is hitting a lot of forehands. And so I would tell, uh, based on this chart, I would say, you know what, Gary, you got to be a little more consistent off the ground. You're making too many errors. You're returning pretty well, but uh, you missed the backhand. So let's let's elevate everything. Let's get the rally going a little bit more. And you have hit no volleys, Gary, and your game is based on the volley. So you need to get to net. You know, and you can tell stuff like this. You can tell how aggressive they're being with that. If they're missing a lot of first serves, you can say, you know, you're not getting the first serves in. Those are the little things you can do with the chart 